This question says, plot, label, and join the following points to form a quadrilateral. And they give us the four points they want us to plot. They give us H, I, J, and K. And remember, anytime we're dealing with points, we're going to have two coordinates. We're going to have an X coordinate, which is going to be the first number. And we're going to have a Y coordinate, which is going to be the second number. And don't forget, the X axis is going to be the horizontal line. And the Y axis is going to be the vertical line. So let's start to plot these points. So for our first point, we have point H. They give us the coordinates negative 4, 0. So we know negative 4 is going to be on the X axis and 0 is going to be on the Y axis. If we find negative 4 on the X axis, we can see it's going to be right here. So this is negative 4. And we know this is also going to be 0 on the Y axis. So we're just going to mark that point. Now once we plot that point, we also have to label the point and we're going to label it H. Now for our second point, we have point I and point I has the coordinates negative 3, 2. So let's plot this point. We know negative 3 is going to fall between negative 2 and negative 4. So right here is going to be negative 3. And now we have 2 on the y-axis, which means 2 on the y-axis is going to be right here. So we can plot this point, negative 3, 2, right here. So this is going to be point I. And remember, we must label these points because the question says plot, label, and join. After we have plotted all the points, then we're going to join them to form the quadrilateral. So let's label point I. We know this right here is point I. Now for our third point, we have point J. And we know this has the coordinates of negative 1, 0. So negative 1 on the X, 0 on the Y. We know negative 1, even though they didn't label it, is going to fall between 0 and negative 2. So right here. And the Y coordinate is going to be 0. Therefore, we can plot this point right here. So this is going to be point J. Now for our last point, we have K. And it's going to have the coordinates of negative 3, negative 3. So negative 3 on the X and negative 3 on the Y. So right here, we're going to plot this point. And we're going to label it K. Now that we have plotted the four points, we now have to join these points in order to form the quadrilateral. So just using your ruler, we're just going to join these points. We can start with H to I. So we're just going to line up the points using the ruler, and we're just going to draw the line. Now we're going to move the ruler and go from I to J. Now we're going to go from J to K. And finally, we're going to go from K back to H. Okay, so we have successfully plotted, labeled, and joined these points to form the quadrilateral. Now, part B says, draw in the diagonal IK. So they tell you they want you to draw in a diagonal, and they tell you it's going to be IK. So we're going to use these two points to draw our diagonal. So we're just going to use our ruler. And we know we're going to draw the diagonal I to K. I'm going to use a different color ink for this. So the diagonal is going to be from I to K. All right, now part C says, reflect H, I, J, K in the Y axis. So they want us to reflect this quadrilateral in the Y axis. Now, how do you think we should do that? Now you should remember anytime you're reflecting across the Y axis, the Y coordinate will remain the same, but the sign of the X coordinate will change. So if it's positive, it's going to become negative. And if the X coordinate is negative, it's then going to become positive. Now let's write down what the reflected points coordinates will be. So we know for H, when we reflect this, 
in the y-axis, we now are going to have h is going to turn in to positive 4, and the y-coordinate is going to remain the same, so we're going to leave 0. But we're going to label this h1. Now for i1, we're going to get, we know we have negative 3, 2, so when we reflect this, we now are going to have a positive 3, and the y coordinate is going to remain the same, so we're going to have 2. Now for j, we're going to label this point j1, and the x coordinate is negative 1, therefore it's going to become positive, so we have positive 1, 0. Now for our final point, we have k, we're going to label this k1, we have negative 3 in the x coordinate, when we reflect this, it's now going to become positive 3, and the y coordinate is going to remain the same, so we still have negative 3 in the y coordinate. Now when we plot this, we know h1 is going to be 4, 0, so we're going to look and we're going to plot this. We have 4 for the x coordinate and 0 for the y coordinate, which means we can plot this point right here. I'm just going to label it H1. Now for I1, we're going to plot the point 3, 2. So we have 3 in the X coordinate, 2 in the Y coordinate. Therefore, this point is going to fall right here. We can label this I1. Now we have point J1, which is going to be 1, 0. So 1 in the X coordinate and 0 in the Y coordinate which means this point is going to be plotted right here. We can label this J1. For our last point, we have K1, and it's going to have the coordinates of 3, negative 3. So 3 in the x-axis, negative 3 in the y-axis, which means this point is going to fall right here. And we can label this K1. Now we're just going to join these points using our ruler. Remember, this is a J. Let me just fix this. All right, so we're going to go from J to I, or I to J is up to you. We're just joining the points now. Now we're going to go from J to K, from I to H, or from H to I. Finally, we're going to join our last two points, which are H1 to K1. Boom! We have successfully completed reflecting this quadrilateral HIJK in the y-axis, which gave us H1, I1, J1, and K1. Now for part D, it says label the image H1, I1, J1, and K1. But as we can see, we already did that which means we have successfully completed this problem.